straight. Curve straight. Arm straight. Okay. We have seven categories in Shinto Yoshinkai Jiu Jitsu. Number one, Nage, doesn't have to be any order. Number two, Ukemi, rolling and fall, falling, Nage is just rowing. Number three is Wazas, which means techniques, A Wazas, Hashi Wazas. And we have Tenis, which are striking. We have Kanama Wazas, which is groundwork. We have Kimi no Katas, which are muggings, self defense techniques. Actually, it's considered the formal exercise of Jiu Jitsu, Kimi no Katas. And the last category is Kaishus, which means counters. Okay, today we're going to work on an Atemi. And the Atemi we're going to work on today is your knee. Do you remember the name in Japanese for your knee? It's a hisa. And if we do a knee and we make it into a strike, it's called a hisa geti, or a knee kick. All right, now we have five different ways to do it. First way, it, well, in fact, uh, Harris, son, come on out. Yeah. Okay, all right, move up just a little bit. Okay, stay right there. All right. The first way is uh, my hisageti, which is like throwing a front kick. <laughs> Second way is like a mawashi hisageti. <laughs> Third way, I, since they blend here, and since we're on the ground, since I'm on the ground, um, that's what we're gonna work today. All right, first thing we're gonna do is some stretching. Okay, before we do any of our exercises, we're standing up and loosening up. We should have to get really loose first. So from here, I'm gonna just lie flat on my back. And I'm just gonna sit up and stretch. Okay, if you point your toes towards you as you do your stretching, you'll stretch the calf muscles out also. If you can't touch your toes, just grab your bubonnets, your pants, and stretch. Good, then we wide repeat. We can go to our knee. I can switch and go to my other knee. Excuse me, my ear to my knee. Touch my nose to my opposite knee. And my ear. And back down to the middle. Good. And again, touch your toes. And from here, I can lie flat on my back. Bring your feet up as close as you can to your butt and push up and here's our bridge. One of the most important moves that we do in ground fighting. I can go on one shoulder. I can switch. Back on both shoulders. And a really terrific stretch you can do is cross your leg over, keep your shoulders touching the ground. And we can switch into the opposite way. Good, again, I'll sit up. And back to this stretch. OK, 
Okay, another real good stretch you can do. It's called bent leg side splits this way. And push forward and back. From here, we just straighten one leg. In the opposite leg. And back to both legs. Okay. And from here. Okay. We can cross our arms. We roll back. We slap. Point your toes and sit back up. These are back falls. Swapping your hands is called a Hani Uchi. Okay? And it's been proven that about 80% of the force of the fall can be absorbed with your arms. So you really gotta slap hard. Come on with me, ready? Itch. Knee. Fine. Chi. And go. Great. Okay, now, from here, if we do half of a back fall, okay, then that becomes a side fall. So just sit up, get this hand ready, look into the ground as it's coming up, and slap. And slap, slap, here we go. Itch, knee. Fine. Chi. Go. Luku. Chi Chi. Hachi. Ku. Shu. Okay. And what we can do again is make this fall a little more realistic is that I'm going to shoot my legs up in the air, balance my shoulders, and then fall and slap. So watch how that looks. Oh. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. Hey. All right. So that's our back falls and our side falls. Of course, we're going to do this for standing up. But for right now, let's just practice from our, from the ground. All right. So. From here, put my hands up, and then I'm gonna fall forward. Hey! All right. Notice how all the weight's on my arms. Close this, or open. Notice that my knees are off the ground. Notice that every time I fall, my head goes this way or this way, and the force of the fall will not hurt my nose or my teeth. Watch again. Hey! Okay. All right, from here, we can loosen up a little bit more. And the other way. Good. Now, we talked about bridging just a minute ago, how important that is in your grappling. Also, okay, we have something called shripping, all right, which is a very, very important move. So, from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lie back, pick my legs up as far as they go. I'm going to hit my butt off the ground. I'm going to turn on my shoulder. And I'm going to push as if I'm going to touch my toes. Okay? And 
And that's something you can do up and across your living room floor. If you're at home, or if you're lucky to have, if you're in the dojo, we have the mat seams. Okay? Okay. All right. So these are warm up exercises that you should do whether you're in Jiu Jitsu or Karate before you train and work out. Okay? So from here, hands, turn, cross your leg. And we'll see you next time. Okay, two very, very important things that we should practice in our warm-ups is our bridging and our shrimping. Okay, so we're gonna go over bridging first, then shrimping, and then I'm gonna show you a self-defense technique that has a shrimp involved. Okay, all right, so bridging. Line your back, get your heels up as close to your butt as you can, and push up. Okay, and this we use for loose hip or back just for your exercise. You can go to our shoulder and our other shoulder. Shoulder and our other shoulder. Come <coughs> back again. Okay. Now, one of the most important things that a good ground grappler has is patience. Patience is a virtue. When you're on the ground, and especially when you're on the bottom, you don't want to use up all your energy. You want to be able to relax and breathe. And then when the opportunity strikes, then you can use 100% of your energy, such as bridging. I have someone on top of me. I'm not fighting. Probably just holding him here. And when I feel the opportunity is right, then I fight. I use all my strength to bridge. Hey! 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 Okay? Very important. All right. Shrimping. Another very important thing to be able to do to be a good ground fighter. Okay? From here. Pick your legs up as close to your buddy as you can again. Bridge, like you did before. Turn to one side, and then push your feet. And try and touch your toes. Watching it. Get as close as I can. Bridge. Bridge on one shoulder, and now touch your toes. If you have space, you can go all the way from one end of the mat to the other, or one end of your living room floor to the other. If not, do it just like I'm doing here. I don't need space. From here, I bridge, I sit back, I bridge. I bridge, and I bridge. How about you doing it with me? Ready, itch, knee, slime. Chi, go, Ruku, Shishi, Hachi, Ku, and Chu. Hey! Okay. Another bit move that we can do from the ground is called sit outs. Now, the worst person, the worst place that you want to be in a fight is being in front of somebody when they're behind you. My opponent is behind me, I'm in front of them, and they grab me. Now, I'm being grabbed from the ground. I gotta do something now. I can't take a chance of him getting that choke in me. So from here, I pick up my foot, and then I'm gonna shoot this leg out. 
Okay. From here, I pick up my leg, pick up my arm, make room for this leg to go through, and then I shoot out. Okay? Let's try it. From the ground, pick your leg up, pick your arm up, shoot this leg out. Let's try the other way. Ready? One and two. Hey! All right, let's see you try it a couple times. Ready? Itch. Knee. Sign. Chi. Go. Ruku. Shishi. Hachi. Ku. Shu. Great. Now we're going to add something to that. All right? So, as I sit out, I roll on my shoulder and I face my opponent. Okay? Watch again. I just sat out. Roll on your shoulder. And face your opponent. Alright. I've done it twice. I've showed you what to do. Now it's your turn. Ready? Itch. Knee. San. Chi. Go. Ruku. Shishi. Hachi. Ku. Shu. Okay. Okay. Now, notice Harris is in my guard. Right? Okay. From here, what I'm going to do is hold on to him so he doesn't move when I undo my guard and I put my feet on the ground. From here is where I shrimp. Notice what happens when I shrimp and the space I created between me and my opponent. And from here, here's my kick. Okay? This is a terrific self-defense technique from the ground. All right? Watch again. We're fighting. I'm going to hold on to him. I'm going to shrimp and kick. Okay? Okay. All right. So, if I was facing you, it would look like this. I would shrimp, get my leg up, and kick. Okay? All right, Harris, you can just sit down right there. Stay there. All right, so let's do 10 of those with me. Here we go. On the right shoulder, we push, we shrimp, kick. You go back. You shrimp, kick. Here we go. Itch. Knee. Sun. Chi. Go. Ruku. Shishi. Achi. Ku. And Ju. Okay. So, practice those. It is really going to help you improve your ground fighting. If you get your shrimping and your sit outs and your bridging. Okay? All right. So, let's stand up here. Then we fix ourselves without looking at our opponent. Turn. Courtesy bow. Courtesy bow. Oops. And third way, two arms on. You can get some. Great. Phew. Fourth way. Phew. Is a Toby piece of Yeti. Flying kick. And the fifth way, as if I took my opponent down to the ground. Down to the ground. And knee to his body and punch. That's called a knee punch. All right, we're going to do the first one first. If you have a partner to practice with, that's great. Let's start from just shaking hands. If you don't have a partner, that's okay. Just pretend that one's there. Okay? 
Give a grab, step straight in, and throw your kick. Okay, let's try that in the mirror. First one is a my piece of getting. Okay, so just step. Okay, you're gonna pull your opponent into you as you need. I'm gonna go itch. Come on, knee, sign, chi. Go, Ruku, Shishi, Achi, Ku, Shu, Hai! Remember, breathe out to show you at the end of the set. All right, Hantai, switch your stance. Opposite leg, itch, knee, san, chi, go, Ruku. Shishi, Hachi, Ku, Shu, Hai! All right, number two, Mawashi Hisageni, roundhouse kick. All right, or roundhouse knee, excuse me. A roundhouse kick would look like this. A roundhouse knee would look like this. All right, ready, itch, knee, San. Chi, go, Ruku, Shishi, Hachi, Ku, Shu, Hai. All right, Hantai, opposite way, here we go. Ready, itch, knee, san, chi, go. Ruku, Shishi, Hachi, Ku, Shu, Hai. Okay, all right. For this one, if you like, put your one foot forward, put your hand out, side that your foot's on, and you can throw a crescent kick. That looks like this. And hit your hand. Okay? Let's do like two or three of those. Ready, itch, knee, san, chi. All right, now from here, instead of throwing the kick, you're gonna hit the side of your knee into your opponent's ribs, okay? And that looks like this. Itch, knee, san, chi, come on. Go! Ruku! Shishi! Achi! Ku! Shu! Hey! All right, switch your stance. Ready? Opposite hand, opposite knee. Itch! Knee! San! Chi! Go! Ruku! Shishi, Hachi, Ku, Shu, Hey. Okay. All right. Number four. Okay. That's a flying knee. Toby, Toby, my piece again. Okay. Front flying knee. All right. Now it's a lot easier than it looks. You don't have to be very athletic to do this. It's actually simple. Okay, from here, put your leg back. Pick up your knee like you're throw a chamber. Like a kick, and now just hop. Okay, watch again. Pick up your knee, hop. And all together looks like this. Whee! All right, let's try it. Ready? Just keep your balance, pick your knee up. Now hop. Excellent, here we go, ready. Itch, knee, san, chi, go, ruku, shishi, hachi, ku, shu, hey! All right, switch, ready, itch, knee, san, chi, Go, Ruku, 
Kishi Hachi Ku Shu. Hey! Okay, the last one in our series is a knee punch. Right? Very simple. Just step with one foot forward, just drop down to your knee. Keep your back straight, your posture, and then throw your punch. Okay? Alright, let's try it again. Ready? Just like steps, drop down to your knee, and punch. Alright? Let's try the opposite way. Step, drop down to your knee, punch. Try it again. Step, drop down to your knee, and punch. Alright, here we go. This way first. Itch, phew. Knee, phew. Sign, phew. Chi, phew. Go, Ruku. Shishi, Hachi, Ku, and Shu. Hi! Okay, so remember, every part of your body can be used as a weapon. These knees and elbows are very powerful. Practice these knee kisagetis, and guess what? When you need to use them, it'll be there. All right, let's get it. Action. One of the seven categories of jujitsu that we study, Shinto Yoshinkai, are Kinokatas. Kinokatas are the formal exercise of jujitsu. A kinokata is actually a mugging technique, a self defense technique. And it's broken up into four different parts block, shock, takedown, and control. If you don't do all four parts, it's not a kinokata. Okay? Alright. The first kinokata would be from a double lapel grab, and that would look like this. The second one is a rear forearm grab, and that one looks like this. And the third one is for a side headlock. And that one looks like this. Okay? All right. Now, this is what it looks like with your uki. Second one, your forearm grab. And the third one is for a side headlock. Now going very slowly with the techniques, a double toe grab. The first thing you have to realize is that when someone's grabbing you, they're not literally grabbing you. It's giving you an opportunity to grab them. Second, I take a big step, come up with my number six empty strike, take my hand, 
strain her ear. Here's the kazushi, breaking the balance. Here's my takedown. Okay? And when I step over for Jiggy Katami, I'm really stomping on her face, pulling her up to the side, wrapping my hand, grabbing. And right now she should start feeling the pressure. And by the time I fall to the ground, the arm should be broken. Okay. Second one. As you're feeling being grabbed, you're probably pulling you back. Both hands come up, grabbing the shoulder, and I pivot. Step up. I do a full the body. Take the leg out. Here's my stomp on her side, grabbing again, sitting back, and then finish. And the third one is for a side headlock. Okay, I step into my good stance as I turn my chin towards her, and that relieves the pressure on my throat so she can't choke me. And here are my strikes either into the femoral artery, or to the groin, and to the kidneys. Then, take my hand, come around, be careful. You can use one finger, two finger, the shoot the strike under the nose. Be careful with your hands so they don't bite them, okay? And watch my left leg. I step back out of the way. As she falls down, my arm hooks her ankle. I step back, using my shoulder to push one way, my rich hand, okay, with my stylus, stylus, stylus process bone here, into her sling point, which is on the inside of her ankle. Clasp my hands, and then squeeze. Okay? Those are the first three kimonokakus for yellow and for our orange belt. Notice that you can do the kakas, kimonokakus by yourself as little kaka forms. Okay, and the more you do them, the smoother you get. And when you actually have to do it to a real person or your uki, it'll be there for you. Okay, thank you. The early history of Shinto Yoshinkai Jiu Jitsu is shrouded in mystery. The founder of Shinto Yoshin was Master Ishijima. His father, Matsuka, was a subject of the Takagawa Shogunate around 1600 to 1868 and had learned Jiu Jitsu in the martial arts school of the Shogunate. Matsuka was famous as a martial artist instructor in Edo, which is now known as Tokyo. His son, Ishijima, learned the arts from him and created what we know as Shinto Yoshinru. Master Shijima followed by Master Nosi. Not much is known about him except he continued the art and passed it on to his master, Nakayama, who passed away in 1958. Nakayama's top student was Otsuka, who entered the Nakayama's dojo in 1898 at the age of six. There he stayed until the age of 30, with Nakayama passing on most of his knowledge to him. At this time, Master Osuka was introduced to Master Funakoshi. Master Funakoshi taught karate, which was at the time fairly unknown in Japan. Master Osuka began combining his knowledge of jujitsu with the new knowledge of karate and formed the style of karate known today as Wadoru. The Shinto Yoshi style had laid dormant for a while until Mr. Takeski, a student of Atsuka, continued to practice the style within his jojo. 
1942, Douglas Gross studied the Shinto Yoshinu style while in the Air Force under the direction of Mr. Takeski's chief instructor and later under Mr. Takeski himself. Mr. Gross has, much, has continued to practice, teach, and further the art. In 1978, he met Mr. Stephen Wrench while teaching a seminar in Sarasota. In 1950, Mr. Gross formed the American Jiu-Jitsu Association, which became the governing body for Shinto Yoshinru Jiu-Jitsu, as well as other styles. In 1979, it was renamed the American Jiu-Jitsu Karate Association, AJKA, and later on International. Grandmaster Gross appointed Steve Wrench, chief instructor in 1995. In 1999, Xi'an Wrench taught his first Shinto Yoshin seminar in Europe, and subsequently the organization adopted the current name of American Jiu-Jitsu Karate Association International to accommodate the newest European members of the Shinto Yoshin family. So our Shinto Yoshin Ru Jiu-Jitsu has tons of lineage, 